Hello, my name is Franklin, and welcome to my channel. I'm working on this Bomac DD138 roller. The customer says it will only go full when I go backwards. So let's check it out and see what's wrong with it. Okay, let's give it a test now. Now this here is supposed to be the forward and reverse. We cut it on here. Start it up. Now it should go forward and it should go reverse. See, I got this thing all open. And uh, looks like someone added a toggle switch right there. So, let's try that. Forward, I guess that'd be forward, nothing. Oh, okay. So they put this here toggle switch in replace of this, but it does not work when you go forward. So let's uh, check out this switch here. We can probably get him one of these, but we'll see what the other wants to do. We'll check this first right here. We'll get it set up and I'll come back. Look what they did. Look at that mess. It's not even soldered or nothing it's just kind of just sticking on there so what we're gonna have to do is figure out what kind of mess this is it does go in reverse when we put it this way so that means when we push it down this way like this it goes in reverse so that means uh, this wire is connected to that one to make it go in reverse and I guess this one right here must be the forward right here well, um, let's get a wire and we'll test that theory here in a second let me get some wire and I'll be right back in the testing okay got my trusty old fluke here what we want to do is put it on uh, continuity you can test here if it's good it's gonna be zero you put it here just to make a sound so you know it's a complete circuit hear that okay what we want to do is check this switch right here and see if it's good so when I put it down it should this one should be connected to that one okay so it's intermittent so it's not making a good no so that part of the switch is bad so I push it the other way to the back. Okay, to the back. Should be this one and this one. Hear the beeping? Okay, let's push it the other way. Now it should be this one and this one. Should read continuity. Nothing at all. Hear that? That means you got a bad switch. Let me get it closer now so I can see what I did. You see the switch right here? That switch right there. When it's in that position right there, see how it goes down? Like that, you go up. When you go in the middle, nothing's connected. But when you have it all the way that way, that connects this one to... Let me see if I can get a better view there. That connects this one here to the back one. And if you move it the other direction, like that, like that, that connects this one here to that one. So there should be continuity between this one and this one. I'm gonna put it back the other way. That should read continuity from this pin here to the back pin which it does not, so that means it's got a bad switch. And the way we're gonna test it now, we're gonna put a jumper across there and see if it takes off and goes forward. And that way we'll know we gotta get a bad toggle switch. Even though that's not the way it's supposed to operate, it's supposed to operate with this contraption right here, this piece, but uh, sometimes it's hard to find or very expensive and they don't wanna pay for it. So what we're gonna do Let's get a little jumper wire, which I happen to have in my pocket. Make sure it's in the middle. It won't take off on us. The bad part about that is when you move it, this shifter here a little bit forward, it's supposed to start off slow and go forward, fast and slower. When you put this toggle switch on, 
you cannot control the speed when you bypass. You can see here the emergency stop is missing and this little deal here controls the speed also but the way it is now is going to be one speed which is usually fast. So we're going to make a test here and jump across. It's in the middle. Yep. Crank it up. Speeding it up so we don't hit nothing. Okay. First we're going to jump uh, the back one here to go backwards. Okay. Oops. Went backwards. Now we're going to the opposite direction. And the switch, if the problem is the switch, it'll go forward. Okay, yes, it went forward. So now we know the problem is the tackle switch. So let's cut it off. And we'll go buy a tackle switch. This is what I found. I wanted a waterproof, heavy duty switch, but this is all that was available. So the way this works is, you put one wire here, and if you put one wire here, when you put it like this, this one connects to that one. The middle one's where the power goes. Power goes there, and your low goes here, your other low goes there. Like forward goes here, reverse goes there. So when you put it, it's like a little needle in there, and when you flip it down, it just kind of goes up like that. So if you put it like this, and put it down like that, that connects the middle one to that one. So you have power from here to there. And if you put it down, put it to the middle, no power anywhere. And put it down like that, and go, you go up like that. Well, don't want to cooperate, but anyway. Put it like that, that connects this middle one to the bottom one. So your power goes here in the middle and your two loads go on either side. Now, this particular switch here, I bought at O'Reilly's for $9, I think. But, I'm going to tell you, I've bought lots and lots of these. And see a little tiny little neck, it breaks off every time. But, that's all they had, so. I only wanted to get it done, so I put it on there. And, uh, normally I would connect with relays. The reason why those things burn is because the contacts inside are tiny. So, normally you would have this switch activate a relay and the relay connect to the power. But he didn't want to let me do that. He was in a hurry, he wants to get it done. He says to do it later, but I doubt it. So we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and install this one and take the other one out. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this. We'll take them off one at a time so we don't get them all mixed up. We'll go ahead and, we can go ahead and remove this thing. we we'll get a pair of pliers to remove that. Okay, notice I took off the switch or I broke off the switch. It came off when I fooling with it. And if you look at the bottom of it, you'll see that it has six connectors. But only three are being used. So you can use this side or that side on this one. Either these three or those three. They are separate. But this one only has three. So it'll do the same thing as one side. So let's take them off. One at a time. We'll do this one here first. Two wires here. Let them loose. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't matter which end you start with. As long as the center one goes in the center, then I ain't got to worry about it. doesn't matter which one goes to which end. You can point it the way you want to point it as far as forward and reverse. Okay, and we'll just tighten that up. There's one. And we'll take off the center one next. And this one has to be in the center. That's going to be the power. It activates both sides. So we'll take that one off of there. Go ahead and loosen it up. Take that one. Put it in the center one. There. Okay. 
Not too much. Okay, where did it go? Right here. That one in the center. And these switches are very fragile, so you gotta be careful with them. Cheapies. If I had time, I would have ordered a good one, but they want to get it working now so they can use it. But I want to wait. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this one off now. This will be in the only spot left. Not a good connection, but. have to fix this part here that's not very good let me get uh, another terminal fix that with I don't want a bad connection okay I have one of these I'm gonna fix that with so this one is not very good Let's see if we can make it longer here this one right here see how bad this is very look look at that that right there, that get it on. So we'll cut it here. Hopefully it'll be long enough. Oh yeah, she had plenty. We'll clean it off a little bit. There we go. spot left. So I'll stick it in there. Okay. Now we'll take this off here. And these things are very fragile so I'd rather gotten a heavy duty one but they're in a rush, so. Windy day today. Let's adjust it. This bottom nut here is for adjusting. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. There we go. And we'll put it in the hole there. Okay, a little bit too much. I want it to be up against the, the switch itself. Okay. That's not good. Let me get that out of there. Okay. So. Put that on there. This one here. Upside down, like this. Put the nut on. We'll give it a test though before we get too excited about it. I'm gonna loosen up a little bit more down here. So we have more tightening. Nothing wants to cooperate easy. One thing about these, you can't force anything because these little 
switches are very fragile and they break real easy. Okay, let's test it for now and then we'll uh, go back and tighten it up. Let's give it a test. Here we go. Now we're ready to give it a test. We'll go forward. 